Good day, class! Our topic for today is about the qualities of an officiating official. The role of an officiating official is very crucial in a sporting endeavor. He defines the success or failure of a certain physical activity. It is therefore necessary for an aspiring officiating official to possess a number of qualities for him to meet the goal of having a satisfying, complaint-free, impartial, and successful game. The following are some of the qualities to be considered. The Physical Qualities These qualities refer to the physical attributes of an officiating official. Since an officiating official needs to catch up with every detail of what the athletes or players do on the court, he needs to have a high level of fitness to be able to perform his job. To determine his level of fitness, he or she has to consider the following. The Body Mass Index The Personal Maximal Heart Rate and Training Heart Rate Fitness or Exercise Program and the nutrition and the weight management. The next one is the emotional qualities. These qualities refer to the emotional readiness of an officiating official to perform his or her role in the game. He or she might have mastered all the rules and possesses a high level of fitness, but if the emotional attributes don't warrant him or her to perform the duties and responsibilities of an officiating official, failure is expected. The emotional attributes that an officiating official should possess includes confidence. It is having a belief in oneself and confidence can be a situation specific but practicing through an actual game immersion and observation of game officiating activities can help improve it. The next one is mental qualities. Just as physical and emotional qualities are essential, mental characteristics are also equally necessary. Mental toughness is the term used to refer to all of the qualities pertaining to one's mental preparation in officiating a game. To be mentally tough, it requires one to stay focused, regulate one's performance ability to handle pressure, awareness and control of thoughts and feelings, and one's command and control of the environment. This can be achieved by having a thorough knowledge on the rules of the game, alertness, vigilance, which results to a timely, decisive, honest, and impartial judgment. Decisiveness results to an integrity of the result of the game, leading to a satisfying result and acceptance of success and failure for both competing teams or players. The next one is the social qualities. Social qualities refers to the ability to deal with others at any given situation. Complaints are inevitable in a game. It is the ability of an officiating official to settle disputes without sacrificing the integrity of a game and the officiating team. To develop such qualities, it requires practice just as at the emotional qualities do. Surrounding oneself with people who make a wise decision, especially in officiating endeavors, might help one improve his or her decision-making skills.